hey guys it's zoe welcome back to my channel long time no see for real um today i'm going to be showing you guys how i installed this unreal chocolate brown wig from asteria hair i'm going to get into the ins and outs show you guys how i installed it and styled it as well you guys want to see how i got this look make sure you keep on watching and i'll see you in a second Jumping right into it, this is the box it came in. I've worked with Asteria hair like a couple times before and I think I've already said this in the last video I did of theirs. They're definitely one of my favourite um, hair brands at the moment, like 100%. All their hair eats and the lace is always really, really thin. So this is all the stuff I've got inside the box. I've got a melt band, some lashes, wig cap and also a storage bag um, to keep my wig in for later which i love and an edge brush as well the specs of this hair i got a hd lace 24 inch um unit i also got a medium cap size if you're wondering which fit my head really really well the hair came pre-curled as you can see here i love it when hair companies do this because it just makes life 10 times easier and then here is a little close-up of what the lace and the knots were looking like um, the knots are very, very thin and obviously because the hair is brown, they aren't black and like thick or chunky. So I really, really like that about it. The hair also looks like it came pre-plucked. Um, as you can see, there's a nice gradient um, going through the hairline and the hair is super shiny, super bouncy. And there is also a lot of lace allowance, which means you can part it literally as deep to the side or as far back as you possibly want it also came with an adjustable elastic on the back and yeah i'm now gonna start combing through the hair with my fingers so you guys can see how it brushes out and how silky it is as you can see this is the first time of me going through the hair with my fingers and it wasn't snagging it wasn't tangling and i didn't get any shedding I also just went ahead and put it on for you really quickly so you can see um, like how curly and thick this hair was. I was really excited to install this. I did decide to go ahead and bleach the knots just because um, I wanted to pluck the lace a little bit more. And I feel like when you bleach the knots before plucking, it softens the, the root of the hair, making it a lot easier to pluck. And it just makes it look more seamless if that makes sense i literally left this on for 15 minutes like honestly you can skip this step it didn't make that much of a difference but i just wanted everything to be as clean and perfect as possible so this is what the hair looked like after i washed and blow dried it um after bleaching and it's now giving scalp even more i then put it on my mannequin head and went ahead and started plucking the hair um this is just a, another before of what the hair looked like before plucking, as you can see here. It's not too bad. It took me like 10 minutes to pluck the full wig. Like, I didn't want to go crazy and go overboard and have like an overplucked hairline. So I made sure I kept looking back and checking on my work. But yeah, this is how it's looking. And I'm in love with how my line is looking so far. Moving on to the install, my favorite part. Um, here's me showing you the wig again. I went ahead and tinted my lace with my Born This Way foundation in the shade Spice Drum. I swear this is all I use my foundation for, just tinting laces on wigs. Um, but I grabbed a dense kabuki brush and just spread that on the back of the lace, um, really saturating that product in to make sure it matches my skin. Once I did that, I went ahead and popped the wig on. And why did I want to leave the house just like this, to be honest? Like, I know you can see the lace, but... I just love this like effortless like tussled look but here's a close-up of how it was looking as you can see the foundations really help to match and blend everything to my complexion and we were now ready to move on to the hard part which was gluing and you know doing all that other boring stuff I started by cleaning my forehead from any makeup, oils, foundation that I may have had on there. And then I grabbed my scissors and just cut off the excess lace around the ears to make sure it fits snugly and curved around my ear perfectly. Once I did that, I grabbed my scissors again and just cut little sections, little slits into the lace as I always do before grabbing my Better Than Melt wig glue to glue down one section at a time. Um... I'm just going to speed through this part because it's so boring but long story short I went I did 
three layers of this glue um, and waited for each layer to dry completely clear and then set the lace back over the top. Once I place the lace back over, I make sure I grab my rat tail comb and really press it down. I use my finger as well to help add pressure because I really want this to be stuck down and last for as long as possible. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and repeat that on either side. And then with the side pieces of the hairline, I grab my got to be glued hairspray and I spray a very, very tiny amount of this um, again, just on the sides because that's where my hair tends to lift um, the quickest and it starts looking crusty. So I make sure that the sides are always secured down as good as possible. Once I've got everything glued down, I'm taking my hair dryer, making sure everything is 100% dry before grabbing my melt bands. I use two out bands normally um, and leave it on for about 10 minutes while I do the rest of the styling of the hair. For today's hairstyle I wanted to go for a side part because I feel like when I've done brown hair in the past I've always like done a middle part but I kind of wanted to do a deep side part so taking my wax stick and my hairspray and my hot comb um, I started laying the part down as flat as possible when laying down the hair you want to make sure you go in small sections especially on um the side that the part is on if that makes sense because you don't want it to be bumpy or lumpy and just like sit on top of your head like a hat so really make sure you take your time doing this as it is vital in making sure that your install looks as clean as possible once that is done it should look something like this and i'm now grabbing my lula bells one and a half inch or one inch curler i'm not sure what size it is but I'm grabbing that, sectioning off the hair and then adding some cute Hollywood waves. After curling each section, I make sure that I drop it into my hand and clip it with a little crocodile clip. You can get these on Amazon, um, just type in crocodile hair clips and you should be able to get like a massive pack of them. But they really help in making sure that my curls last as long as possible. Once I've got the full head curled, I'm now taking my melt band off and grabbing my eyebrow razor. I need to get a new one because this one's like getting blunt and it's getting harder to cut with. But yeah, grabbing that and cutting off the lace section by section. I like to go in with a little detail brush and just um, going over the hairline once I've cut each section just to make sure it's blending um, into my skin. Now that all the lace is cut, I'm taking out all these little crocodile clips and revealing the beautiful curl. I'm really proud of myself because these look very similar to the curls that the hair originally came with, which is the look I wanted to go for. Um, so I'm really glad I did this. Now that all the curls are out, I'm just brushing through the hair with my fingers. I feel like this is the best way to separate the curls because it still maintains the like actual shape of the curl, but it just adds a lot of volume and makes it look a bit more like relaxed, if that makes sense. Once I did that, I was debating adding baby hairs. And I don't know why I do this to myself because like I'm going to add baby hairs 90% of the time. So yeah. I decided to add a little wispy soft baby hair moment so as you can see I'm just sectioning them off as I always do and then cutting diagonally with my scissors. I then take my mini hair straighteners and just curl the curls the baby hairs um, towards my face like inwards and then I just repeat that to every single baby hair before going in with my medium hold hairspray um, and my edge brush. I'm just going to take my time and really swoop everything into place um, and play around with how I want them to lay. They are definitely touching my eyebrows today, guys. Don't watch that. Um, it's fine. That is the vibe I was going for. I'm joking, but yeah. Anyway, um, and once I did the baby hairs, this was the complete and final look, guys. I'm in love with how this hair looks. I've got so many compliments on this hair. Um, I even styled it into a little Pamela Anderson, like bun type of hairstyle which i'll insert right here it's super versatile and you just can't go wrong with a chocolate brown unit for full guys like come on get real but um yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you check out all the links in the description if you want to purchase this wig or have a look at this wig make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye